Assalamu alaikum, my name is Muhammad Sajid and you are watching my YouTube channel. In this today's video, I'm going to teach you list Python list. Okay, let's start our today's chapter and here on screen you can see this definition of a list. List actually is a collection of, you can say, items and it is under two square brackets, right? So let's see the definition. Lists are used to store multiple items in a single variable. So as you can see here, my list is a variable and these are multiple values like apple, banana and cherry these three values are stored in one variable you can call it like this so lists are one of the four built-in data types in python used to store collections of data the other three are uh, tuple set and dictionary all with different qualities and usage okay so lists are created using square brackets see here this list is equal to apple banana cherry print this list so let's try let's try to create the list okay right okay okay so we will write type this list is equal to yeah apple banana cherry okay and press enter it means the list is defined and now if we print out this list what will happen see here it prints the values which we have in this list apple banana and cherry okay now you know how to uh, define lists in python next we look at list items the items are ordered, changeable, and allow duplicate values. List items are indexed. The first item has index 0, the second item has index 1, and so on. So if you have learned arrays in other programming languages like Java, that is similar. Where you have ordered items which are changeable and allow duplicate values and have indexes and start first index is 0 and then it increases okay now we have ordered when we say that list are lists are ordered it means that the items have a defined order and that order will not change okay they are in a proper sequence they are in a proper a proper uh, order and they will not change items in the list do not change their position if you do if you add new items to a list the new items will be placed at the end of the list okay so if you add any new item in an old list, it will go to the new item will go to the end of the list. But there are some methods that will change the order, but in general, the order of the items will not change. Okay. What's the meaning of changeable? The list is changeable, meaning that we can change, add and remove items in a list after it has been created okay allow duplicates since lists are indexed lists can have index uh, have items with the same value here we have this thing let's define this array uh, sorry uh, list and if we okay it is defined and we have duplicate value see apple is two time cherry is also time okay see here it has apple banana cherry apple cherry okay so duplicates are allowed in the list then we have list length 
there's a method called length which ln length which is used to know the length of the list so if we want to know length of this list okay five we have five items one two three four five two apples two cherry one banana five items okay so this is how you can know the size of a list okay let's move on list items and data types list can have strings boolean or integers okay for example if we define these three arrays you can see so we can we are successful in defining three different types and if i print this three they see you true false false it means we can have list based on uh, strings or text numbers and boolean values also we can mix these uh, data types in array so in in, uh, in list for example this one we have numbers booleans and strings together okay and now i am Okay, so now I have this one and if I print this one see here ABC 34 through 40 male okay right next we have type type uh, from Python's perspective lists are defined as objects with the data type list okay so type method is used to know the uh, what is the type of the object okay so here my list is there and if we try to know uh, type okay yep type okay let's try list uh, one see here it says because from Python's perspective, lists are objects, so it tells us list uh, this uh, list one is an object of class list. So this is the result of this method type. Okay. Next we have list constructor. Above we have seen we can create list uh, by having uh, square brackets around uh, different items. It is also possible to use list constructor when creating a new list okay so here see we are creating a new list okay with the help of list constructor okay let's try this code copy paste it's not pasting copy and come on sorry let's try one more time if it doesn't work then we will uh, where is my uh, uh, I have lost uh, my okay prompt so let's try it here so this will be output apple banana and cherry and we in here we have defined the list using list constructor okay right so that's it now let's look at final section of our this video python collections so as stated above there are four built-in data types and collection data types to be precise in python programming language one is list tuple set and dictionary list is a collection which is ordered and changeable allows duplicate members we have seen the meaning of ordered and changeable uh, and duplicate man uh, values above okay next we have tuple tuple is a collection which is ordered and unchangeable allows duplicate members so it means list and tuple have 
the only difference of changeable or unchangeable they are actually same but tuple has unchangeable values okay then we have set set is a collection which is unordered unchangeable and unindexed okay Uh, 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 un uh, okay, uh, unchangeable and unindexed, no duplicate members. So this is the property of the sets. This, if you have studied mathematics, uh, the sets are similar there as well. Then we have dictionary. Dictionary is a collection which is ordered and changeable. Okay, no duplicate members. So ordered and changeable with no duplicate members. It means list and dictionary have one difference. In list we have duplicate members, but dictionary don't have uh, duplicate members. Okay. Yeah. Right. So here is some important information. As of Python version 3.7, dictionaries are ordered. Okay. And in previous like 3.6. And earlier dictionaries are unordered okay and because we have different type of uh, collection data types so when choosing collection type it is useful to understand the properties of that type okay so that at later stage you don't pro face problems problem choosing the right type of a particular data set could mean retention of the meaning and it could mean an increase in efficiency and security okay so whenever you have to use any data any collection data type you need to fully understand this uh, four types then choose what is appropriate for your uh, requirement okay gents students ladies what we have learned here we have uh, looked at four data types collection data types how to create a list with the help of a constructor uh, create type with the help of uh, to know the type of uh, an object of list uh, with type method and then we have seen different data types like text or we have uh, numbers and booleans we have uh, learned the method len to know the length of the list and also we have seen how to deal with duplicate values changeable values what is ordered list okay so that was all about python list introduction we will have other more videos on list where we will learn more about lists and then in upcoming videos we will go to uh, tuple set and dictionary as well okay Just so if you want to learn all these data types, stay tuned, be with me, wait for my coming upcoming videos and I hope you will enjoy that. And also I hope the video has been informative for you and please share with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification as well if you click the bell button for upcoming videos. So for now I'm leaving. I'll be back with uh, more videos soon inshallah. By that time take care. Bye bye and Allah Hafiz.